Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyelle Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. You know what's so funny? My nephew actually watches my YouTube videos. So when he misses me, he'll go on to YouTube and watch decoration videos. And so it was really funny because I just babysat him for the weekend and he told me, Auntie, I know your last name. And I was like, how do you know my last name? And he said, Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of... <laughs> So he knows the whole intro to my YouTube videos. Isn't that funny? I just love it. All right, so anyways, in this video, I got a request to do a wedding backdrop. This is a backdrop that I've done before, but we're gonna be using slightly different colors. So I'm gonna be using a rose pink, navy blue, and then rose gold, all right? So let's get started.
All right, guys, so here's the backdrop so far. I like this much better. When I first started off, I was using a rose pink, but that rose pink was a little bit too dark and it didn't go well with the rose gold. So I switched it out for a blush pink, which is a lighter pink, and I like it much better, okay? Now the thing about blush pink is that sometimes it could actually look like peach, okay? So it really depends on the lighting. Like in this light, it probably looks more like a peach, but in person, it looks like a pink color, okay? And it really goes really well with rose gold. Now this backdrop is very wrinkled. <laughs> These curtains are sheer and sheer curtains wrinkle very easily. So what I'm gonna do is off camera tonight, I'm gonna steam everything for you guys. And then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and give you ideas on centerpieces. So it's the next day and as you can see, I have steamed all of the curtains and they look so much better. When I have curtains that are really wrinkled, I usually use my big steamer, so I'll make sure I put the link in the description of the video because that hand steamer will take you forever to steam these type of curtains, all right? So now let me give you an idea for a centerpiece. Look what I found in my inventory. I hope you guys, let me step back so you can see. Hopefully you could see this but I have some rose gold centerpiece stands. So you could use this for flowers. Hopefully you could see it. You could use this for flowers or you could use this for candles. So you can put a candle on top of it and use it that way, all right? And then let me show you, I also found this one in my inventory, these rose gold centerpiece stands and I love them. And I think these will work perfectly with these colors. So I'm gonna add some flowers and show you how I would do a centerpiece for this color scheme.
All right, guys. So here's the backdrop. I love this. I know that everybody likes to do these nude colors, but every now and again, I love to see some color at a wedding. And I think these colors go perfectly together, okay? Now in the back here is my centerpiece idea. I just wanted to show you how you could blend the blues and the pinks and the blush colors to make a really beautiful centerpiece. You could also use silver. So if I were decorating this wedding, I would actually recommend using silver as an accent color. So if you don't wanna go with the rose gold centerpiece stand, you could always use silver centerpiece stands. And then I also wanted to show you over here what the centerpiece stand looks like if you're just using a candle, all right? If I were decorating this wedding, I would also recommend that for the cake stand that you would use either a white cake stand or a silver cake stand, okay? Also, I would recommend for the tables that you would use white linens or you could use this rose gold color, okay? I wouldn't do navy blue because I think that may clash a little bit. So if you're gonna use this backdrop, then I would definitely recommend doing a white table cover or using rose gold linens for your tables, all right? And if you wanna add more navy blue on the tables, then you could add navy blue napkins on the tables. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll make sure I put the links to all the materials that I use in the description of this video. But if you guys have any other questions, you're more than welcome to ask. And I'll see you in my next video.